Guys, how's it going? It's John, Gamester81. This video will be taking a closer look at uh, a new Bluetooth Super Nintendo controller by a company called 8BitDo. What's really cool about this controller is 8BitDo takes new tech and applies it to old tech, which is pretty sweet. Uh, retails for 35 US dollars. So I'll put a link below in case you guys want to check out, find more information about this controller. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do in this video, I'll do an unboxing, show you what's included. We'll hook it up to my Super Nintendo, which is pretty sweet. And in order to do that, we, you need to pick up one of these bad boys. This is called a retro receiver. Retails for 20 US dollars. This plugs into uh, your Super Nintendo and it basically applies a Bluetooth. And what's really sweet about this thing is if, in case you don't have one of these, it will read a lot of other Bluetooth controllers. So for example, PlayStation 3 controller will work. A PlayStation 4 remote will work, a Wii remote as well as a Wii U Pro Pad will, will work on your classic Super Nintendo system. Pretty blows my mind to think that that's actually capable. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna just hook it up. We'll see if there's any lag. I know a lot of people are probably wondering about that. Uh, pretty sweet tech though. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think and let's take a closer look. Thanks for watching. So here is a closer look at the controller itself. Um, and uh, you can actually, this does sync up to any iOS device. So if you have an iPhone or uh, iPad or, or a Mac, it will work on that, of course. Uh, it also will work with Android devices. So if you have an Android phone or Android tablet, it will work on that as well. So it's pretty cool. So not only will this work on your Super Nintendo with the adapter, of course, it will work on any tablet or computer as well, which is sweet. So great for emulation, playing games like that, et cetera, so forth. Um, and really, it's actually got a lot of good weight to it, uh, good build quality, which is cool. 30th Anniversary Gamepad Pro Edition. They also, I also want to mention they do have a Super Famicom version as well, which has the, the colored buttons, of course. Classic D-pad design in the box, size and panel. There's a sleeve. Let's take the sleeve off to see what's inside. Here is a closer look at the controller. Uh, it's got some nice foam padding here, and actually the controller just fits very nice in there, which is sweet. Uh, I can tell you right now, it does feel like a Super Nintendo controller with a D-pad, of course, to start and select, and Y, X, and A, B. It's probably one of my favorite controller designs of all any system, to be honest with you. This is the Super Nintendo. So so classic. It's got everything you need. Of course, the shoulder buttons. Um, it says, obviously, 8-bit dough. Gamepad doesn't say Super Nintendo or anything like that for copyright reasons. You notice it's blinking here. So when it's blinky blue, that means it's searching for a Bluetooth device. It will go solid when it finds that, that uh, receiver. Um, so that's cool. On the back, again, 8-bit dough. And it does charge uh, through a USB adapter, I'll show you that's included. I don't know how long the battery life lasts on this, to be honest with you, and I'm not sure how long it takes to charge. It doesn't say in the instructions, unfortunately, and I haven't tested it uh, to know enough at this point how long the battery lasts, but my guess is it's pretty decent. Let's take the foam out of here. See what else is inside. So it comes with an instruction manual. Of course, this kind of folds out. It's in both Chinese and English, which is great. Uh, pretty easy to hook up. It shows you how to like, kind of charge it, all that good stuff. So at the bottom uh, of the box, you have two smaller boxes. So this is the adapter, the USB adapter to hook up to your, basically to charge it. Uh, it's got pretty good length to it, uh, which is sweet. And also comes with an anniversary pen, um, or actually this is a keychain rather, and it's a FC30, so it's celebrating the 30th anniversary of, I suppose it would be the original Famicom. Maybe, I don't know, it's interesting. Uh, and then uh, also has everything old is new again, which is their slogan, which definitely makes sense. As I was saying before, it takes new tech, applies to old tech, pretty sweet. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna hook, oh, one, before I go on, let me show you the adapter, of course. This actually opens up, it's a clamshell, opens up. So of course with this, I took it off, out of course, but you get the clamshell case. It shows you how to hook it up, USB, how you can sync it. Works with uh, both Super Famicom and Super Nintendo, which is sweet, of course. Uh, it does come with a USB charger as well. It's a lot shorter uh, for this one, of course. And this is the adapter. So you have, a, it looks like you have a sync button here to, to hold and, and sync. Uh, it does flash as well. So this will, I'm assuming, will, will blink and be solid when it does connect. And it hooks up exactly to a Super Famicom or Super Nintendo uh, controller uh, port. So let's hook this up, see if there's any lag, and go from there. Guys, what's up? How's it going? I've got my controller in my hand right here. I've got the retro receiver in my Super Nintendo console right now. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that uh, it's really easy to sync. So basically, I have to turn on the system for hold to turn on. Hold the start button for three seconds. The lights will turn on. To turn off, same thing. Hold the start button for three seconds. There's different commands depending on what you want to sync. So if you want to sync it to an iOS system, you hit like Start and A, for example. And so it kind of depends on the device you want to sync. Before this, you just hold start, 
Within about 10 seconds, uh, it will sync to the receiver. You know it's synced when the, start, the blue light stays solid. Um, so let's go ahead and, the game I'm going to show you actually is called Sydney Hunter and the Caverns of Death. This is for Super Nintendo. This is coming out uh, by Collector Vision Games. This is a game I'm actually working on. I figured it would be a good time to show you <laughs> uh, in this review. So let's go check out the game. Now I want to test the distance on this thing, how, how far this thing can actually range without lagging. So I'm actually going to go behind the camera, so bear with me one second. Now, so now I'm standing about five, 10, 5 feet behind the camera. I'm about 15 feet away from my console. This game's taking good shape. It's going to be 12 levels. It's kind of a puzzle game. Uh, there's an adventure puzzle game, action game as well. There's a whole bunch of things. Password system, of course, start, options. This is a demo that we actually had at Game on Expo uh, that we put together recently. Let's see, let's control it. And it, I don't see any, uh, any lag at all, really. Uh, from my experience, this is actually working pretty good. I did try to sync this up with my PS3 controller, my PS4 controller, my Wiimote, uh, as well as my Wii Pro Pad, Wii U Pro Pad, and you know, to be honest with you, I couldn't get it synced up. Uh, it does say, uh, on the in the on the retro receiver that does it is compatible with those those controllers so I will just chalk it up as user error on my end, unfortunately. But uh, it just couldn't get it for the review to work, so I'm probably just doing something wrong. So, uh, but it, it will does say it is compatible with those those controllers. It does not say that the Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller is compatible. Um, basically, uh, I believe that's because Microsoft has a proprietary uh, Bluetooth technology uh, for the controllers. Uh, I have, a, for example, a, a PS360 a controller, for example, that I need a dongle to play on my PC, and that's basically controlled by, by Microsoft. So, all right. The goal of this game is basically to collect items, crystal scrolls. So, I'll get past the first level here and show you. Designing a new game for Super Nintendo is very, very challenging. It's, it, the, the length of it is basically the programming, make sure all the bugs are worked out, all the kinks. So I got the crystal skull. The lava is going to start rising here in a second. It's programmed by Alec Mall, a good friend of mine. Also, Ben Allen did the music. I'm part of the beta testing on this. Let's put the right there on the pedestal, and it opens up. First level is very simple. I'll just kind of show you uh, all the, you know, basically the, how the game works. There's other items you collect later on, including idols and and other stuff like that. Pineapples are, are, are lives. Game is designed by Keith Erickson. Show you one more thing, uh, kind of cool. Hit select. This is your, your kind of a map of where you are. So, for example, if I go to the next room, it shows you kind of exactly where you backtrack to. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go. To, I'm gonna, I know you guys are probably curious if this actually this controller works with the Retron Five. Let's check it out and see if it works. Okay, so again, I'm standing about five feet away from behind my camera. See the distance thing? I got it synced up. Let's see if it works. It's not recognizing my game I have in there. One of my favorite games for the system. One of the harder games for the system. See if you guys can recognize it. It's Super Empire Strikes Back. Great trilogy for the Super Nintendo. Obviously one of my favorite trilogies of all time for movies, but let's see if, uh, how it works on the Retro 5. So far it seems to be, be syncing up okay. I can tell you the controller feels really good in the hands, just like it would like the Super Nintendo controller. Pretty sweet. And you know what? No lag from what I'm seeing. Pretty awesome. So that's nice. It will work with clone consoles, which is a bonus. And if it works with the Retron 5, I'm assuming it would reach work with the Retron, Retron 1, 2, and 3, along with other clone consoles. So that's, that's awesome. So let me know what you guys think of this. This is a pretty cool device. Again, I kind of wish I was able to get it the PS3 to, to work remote to work or the PS4 remote to work. Or the Wii U Pro Pad. I think that'd be really cool to play on that. Those on uh, Super Nintendo. Again, I th I'd chalk it up to user error. It's, it's probably my bad. Nothing I, uh, that I just can figure out. But I'll definitely look into it. See what I did wrong. If you guys own this and you're able to get that work, let me know. I'm really curious. Do you guys plan on getting one of these? Please leave a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys liking this video. Of course, subscribing that means a lot. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. First off, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, please subscribe. That means a lot. And if you want to stay in contact, you can follow me on Facebook. Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a website, GameStreetE1.com, and I have t-shirts available to help support the show as well. And those are available at ChopChopGoods.com.